Hi there folks, back with a little different video today. I've got a roll of Morgan dollars here that I have purchased from a seller on eBay. I'm not going to out them right now, but uh, it was uh, I bought it at auction. They appear to have good feedback. Their uh, description and what I what I read that a lot of these coins were rolled up between the 50s and the 70s. I suppose as the banks started clearing out some of the silver out of their vaults. But the uh, reason I chose this roll. And I'll show close-up pictures of them. If you can see that date on that. It's an 1894. And any coin. The Philly, New Orleans, or San Francisco are a little better dates. And if that were a Philly, which I doubt it is, that would pay for basically the whole roll. Then I don't know if you can see that ender there. Again, I'll do close-up picks. That's a Carson City. And I won't say what I paid for them right now. We'll do it at the end of the video. But we'll go through these one by one. And uh, I'll uh, show you close-up pics of all the coins. I don't know what's in there. I don't know if this roll has been seeded. It's hard to say. This end looks good. That end looks maybe a little suspicious. It's hard to say. And I don't know what's in, in these. If they're all, you know, low, fairly low grade like this one is. Even this one here, it's a CC and it's been clean, but any CC, you know, even if it's been clean, you're gonna talk. You're talking about 125 to 150 dollar coin minimum, anyway. So probably paid. You know, we we won't know till we get into it. If we I paid too much, but uh, we'll find out. And what I'll do, I'll go through, and uh, like I say, take pictures of all the coins. And then uh, I'll say what I think it might be have for a grade. I'm not a grader. We'll see if we get, you know, got hurt. And like I say, at the end, I'll tell you what I paid for it. And we'll go from there. So I guess we can get started right now. We'll go ahead and roll, open up the roll here. We'll see what we... Uh, end up with here like I say we'll photograph them each one individually front and back you can decide what the grade is if you know I'm like I say I'm not a grader they do all look circulated which that's not surprising. And we'll start off with the first one right here. Again, 1894. This is a Philly. It paid for the whole roll. And it's not. It's a New Orleans. And I'll take a picture of it right now. Okay. 
taking the picture. One more look. Myself, I would call this probably a good and good condition. And we'll go on to the next one. Definitely looking clean. Doubt about that. Got an 1888 there. It is a New Orleans Mint. And I'll go ahead and take a picture of it now. Okay, picture has been taken. One more look at the coin. Definitely has been cleaned on the front. A little bit, maybe a little bit of damage there on the rear. Also, I would say this is in a good grade. Besides the cleaning. That's coin number two. On to coin number three. We've got an 1885. It's also in New Orleans. And I'll take a picture of it right now. Okay, pictures are taken. One last look at it here. 1885 New Orleans. On to the next. We've got an 1891. It is a Philadelphia. Pretty slick, a little slicker than any of the others so far. We'll get a picture of it right now. Okay, let's look at this coin. I would say this is more likely an almost good. The rim's pretty pretty well worn out but almost good on that one my my guess next one we've got an 1890 also a New Orleans Mint And we'll get the picture of it right now. Okay, one more look. I would say this is a good in good condition, good grade. Again, I'm not a grader. Make your own judgments. On to the next one. Reverse facing. Again, a New Orleans Mint. We have an 1896. We'll get a picture of that right now. Okay, one last look at it. 1896 New Orleans. I would say it is also in a good grade. Haven't seen anything that would be VG yet. On to the next. Got a pretty slick one here. It's like an 1880. 
again, New Orleans Mint. We'll get some pictures up right now. Okay, one last look. You know, I would say this is probably in an AG3. Got a little rim damage there. But we'll go on to the next. Reverse facing. No mint mark. Pretty slick. We have an 1883 Philadelphia. We'll go ahead and get the pictures right now. Okay, another one I would uh, say is probably in uh, AG range. Not really any rim details left there. But on to the next. Got an 1889. Again, New Orleans minted. We'll get the pictures of it right now. Hey, one last look. This one I would probably say is in a good, there is some rim detail left there. But anyway, we'll go on to the next one. Reverse facing. Got New Orleans mint mark again. Pretty slick. We got a 1901. Pretty sure that's a common date. We'll uh, get pictures of it right now. Okay. One last look, 1901, New Orleans. First thing I would guess this is between an AG and a G grade, almost good to good. Got a little bit of rim detail on the front, but the rear is pretty slick. We'll go on to the next one. Halfway through. We've got an 1882. This is a San Francisco mint. Pretty slick. We'll get a picture of it right now. One last look, 1882, San Francisco, a 
Again, I'd say it's between that AG and G grade. Front's got pretty good rim. The rear's pretty slick. We'll go on to the next. Reverse facing. Pretty slick. Philadelphia Mint. We got an 1887. Pretty sure that's a pretty common date. We'll go ahead and get some pictures right now. Okay, one last look. Eighteen eighty seven Philadelphia. Pretty slick. Again, probably that AG to G, probably more AG than G. Back's pretty slick. On to the next one. Got an 1897. And it is in New Orleans. We'll get a picture of it right now. Okay, last look. 1897 New Orleans. I would say that's an AG grade. Pretty slick. On to the next. We got a 1901. We've had a New Orleans. We'll see what this one is. It is also a New Orleans. We'll take a picture of that one. Okay, one last look at that one. 1901, New Orleans. Again, I'd say the front isn't good. The reverse is AG. So, probably in that range. Next up, 1902. That's a Philadelphia. We'll get pictures of that right now. Okay, one last look. 1902 Philadelphia. I would say this one is probably in a good, it does have a full rim on both sides. We'll go on to the next one. Reverse facing. Again, New Orleans Mint. And that's in 1889. We might have had one of them already. There's an 1889 right there. It might have been a Philadelphia though. I can't remember. Okay, take another look at it here. Again, probably a G to G grade by my guess. We've got some rim detail, other places it's slick. 
same on the reverse we'll go on to the next getting down there next one it's like we got an 1881 no mint marks so Philadelphia We'll get a picture of it right now. Okay, one last look. Yeah, probably in that AG, the G range. Parts of the rim are there, parts of it aren't. We'll go on to the next one. Reverse facing. Philadelphia Mint. Got a little toning going on, pretty slick. We got an 1880 Philadelphia. We'll get a picture of it right now. Okay, 1880 Philadelphia. Again, I'd have to say this AG3, maybe even possibly a poor, I don't know, pretty slick, and pretty beat up. But anyway, got a couple more to go. We know what the, the one underneath this one is. We'll go ahead and take a look. Okay. 1878. Yeah, and that's a Carson City. Coin overall is in better shape than pretty much anything here. Although it has been cleaned, I am certain. We'll get some pictures of it right now. Okay, one last look at it. Again, I would say it has been cleaned. Probably too shiny for as much wear as it has on it. But I would say it's in a high VG. Eighteen seventy eight Carson City. On to the last one. We have a Philadelphia mint. Is a 1904 Philadelphia. A little better grade than a lot of the others. Got a little more hair detail. We'll go ahead and take a picture of it right now. Okay, one last look at the 1904 Philly. A 
a little better shape. I would give it a VG grade. And anyway, probably the best bunch of courses of the 1878 Carson City. I decided not to pull the gray sheep uh, magazine out. Uh, I think it's 150 to 175 is, is its value. Somewhere in there. And being clean, it's probably 125 to 150. Carson City's hold their value. Of course, the next best one, the other ender, 1894. New Orleans a little better date it is pretty slick uh, what was it the 1896 New Orleans a little better date got a little better detail on the hair And then the very last coin we looked at, the 1904 Philadelphia, a little better detail. But anyway, say I want out the cellar. Was this a seated roll? Mm, possibly. Definitely more common dates for the rest of the coins and slick. Besides the Carson City in the 1894. Uh... And I was gonna say, I'll tell you what I paid. Paid $730 for them. Did I get hurt? Yeah, probably a little bit. You figure calls, uh, 28 bucks, somewhere around there right now. And of course the Carson City would have added 125 bucks to the value so we're around 685 so yeah I paid a little bit more than I probably should have but always taking that chance with the Carson City maybe getting one of the better ones and of course the 1894 although I didn't figure it would be a Philly but you never know anyway I know this has got pretty long, so thanks for watching. Appreciate appreciate you watching it, and uh, a little disappointing, but hopefully they'll fill a spot or two in my Morgan books.